South Africa missed the International Telecommunications Union deadline to migrate to digital terrestrial television in 2015. This left the country exposed to possible outside broadcast interference. After years of back and forth that saw the previous communications minister, Faith Mutambi, being hauled before courts, allegations of corruption and over 6 billion rand of the 10 billion rand allocated spent with little to show, a new model to deliver set-top boxes is now being introduced. Government says on the current model it will need a further 7.9 billion rand. However, it's not exactly clear how much will be saved with the new model. The subsidy that we used to dispense through USASA was done at manufacturing level. So now we are doing it at retail approach. Um, that's the first thing. And then the, the second thing is we are going to use a voucher. Every household will be given a, 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 a voucher. They can decide where they are going to exchange that voucher to get whether it's a set-top box or a digital TV. But now there's yet another commitment and deadline. Based on the activities plan and the resources we have, analog switch off will occur in South Africa in July 2020, the latest. However, we'll work harder to do it earlier if it's possible. We will also follow with the Northern Cape shortly, which is earmarked for the 31st of, of, of March 2019. The work in the Northern Cape will be carried out concurrently with the Northwest. Government says the previous model was not only expensive but also cumbersome with multiple risks. Over 390,000 set-top boxes will be delivered to the Free State and Northern Cape in terms of the current digital terrestrial television model. ICASA says digital migration will potentially make data cheaper through the freeing up of Spectrum. That spectrum will be used for other services, is likely to be, is, is able to be used for other services. Um, this includes services such as data, telecommunications and other broadcasting services. Um, and digital migration has the potential to, to decrease the price of data um, in the South African market. E-Media has also welcomed the announcement. I'm here to commit our business, that's the E-Media group, to this process. And I can tell you very, very sincerely, that within our group, we are thinking that 2020 is a little far. We are set to switch off our analog distribution channels by the 30th of September 2019. Meanwhile, the public broadcaster plans to use its archives to open a history channel. Dimakatso Tugwana, Pretoria.